Okay, y'all, so I started, like, putting some wrap lotion on the side. I already did my hair and everything. I, like, didn't want to come back and make this repetitive. So, I put the tracks in the top going like this. And I took it around to the back. I don't know if you can see this. Um, so, it goes around to here. So, it's going to, like, hang to this side. And I had already went through before I even started this process and like put wrap lotion on my hair um, to make it lay down. Like I said, this wrap lotion does me wonders because I used to use Nairobi, but now I use Motions. Um, I have to change up what I use. I like both of them. The difference between the two is motions seems to dry faster which can be good for some people can be bad for some people like if you're trying to get a style done and um, you're having a hard time with it and you need some time then with Nairobi it'll foam up and have more foam and it'll let you do what you need to do longer than this now this you have to keep like trying to put some wrap lotion on because it's going to dry up faster so it's all according to what you're looking for like I said both of them work very well I like both of them I love the smell of this one. Oh my gosh this one like whew. I like putting on my hair like this morning when I woke up after putting this on my hair um, last night when I tell you my hair was smelling good, I took the little wrap thing off my head and I was like, man, my hair was smelling good. I don't want like my neckline to be straight, so I kind of flip that around a little bit. And this I have to keep playing with because I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for because you know my edges are very thin, so I have to watch like what I do to it. I think that's all I'm going to do to it. Just something simple like that. And this side had already been done and I combed it up. I'm not going to redo that side. So this is what we are looking like so far. Um, go in and smooth it down a little bit. So, you know, and then I put my little closure piece right here, this part, so I can kind of blend in a little bit. And then I wanted a part on the side, so I actually got my hair out this time. Normally when I was doing, I was going around and I kind of took some of this hair over so it can hang over. But I said, you know, I'm trying to wear my hair out, I'm trying to get these edges to grow back in. They coming back in a little bit. So, you know, putting this product on because it has shea butter. Uh, argan oil coconut oil and those are some of the ingredients in my mixture so what I did was I did my mixture I put the gel on took these wrap strips put them laid them there then I put more gel on top of it but this time I took see this is why I cut off I took a um a cap and put it on and this is the part that I cut off from around the edges so I can hold it on a little bit more, um, and when I take it off, it probably come off in like a whole piece, so then I can reuse this. I figure I'm going to want to reuse this, so I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. So anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit more of this wrap lotion. Add a little bit more to make sure everything lays down correctly. That little piece of hair just want to keep falling, doesn't it? But anyway, do that. Like I said, this dries pretty fast, um, and my hair is short anyway, so it's really going to dry fast. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these wrap strips on. Get that piece of hair out of the way. Just want to keep falling. I don't know why. Take that down a little bit. Get the belt right 
here. Um, and y'all know, if I could find it, here we go. My little wrap thing, I always put this on, on top of it so that way I don't have to tie it down. I have a big knot in my forehead or a dent in my forehead, a big knot in my hair. Okay, let's pull this down some. Okay, so now on the side, like I told you, I have my closure here, but right here, you see, I pulled some of my hair up here, so none of my tracks will be showing whatsoever. This is what this is looking like. It's eight inch hair, and it's, let me show you what the package look like. I use basic same hair over and over and over again, the type of hair. So it's velvet, Tara and it's four six and eight before i used the uh, the six inch now i'm using the eight and it's a one b and it's uh one and it's ramen remy human hair um so that's what i use so i figured this would be good for this style because with this you don't really have to curl it don't really have to curl it Okay, so what I'm wanting to do is just kind of style it. So I'm thinking, hmm, let's see here. I do kind of want it, some hair in the back, but I don't want it too long because I want it to be longer in the front. So that being said, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off so it can look neater. that off then in the back I'm gonna cut at an angle so it's gonna kind of Here with this, I think I'm okay. So okay. So I'm really not going to be able to see exactly how I want it to be until. I take this wrap off, just kind of you know, prep it a little bit. But I think for now, I think this is going to look good. Like, even if I pull it back like this, it's still going to have that look to it. Now, in the front, I left a little, little piece of hair. You see that little hair right there? Little piece of hair so the hair can flow a little bit better. And the tracks and I left a little piece of hair on the side right here so even if I pull it in the front like this it kind of feather if I pull it back still look good now this I kind of want more of like that so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to cut some more here but I'm not gonna sit on the dry y'all no better than that I'm gonna walk around and let this air dry and then I will come back and finish the rest of my Easter style. Y'all, I'm excited. Tomorrow is Easter. Y'all probably going to see this video on Easter. Y'all go check out my other video. The other video kind of show you how I did this, but it's a different style and it's shorter. But it's kind of the same technique. So if y'all go watch that video, um, it's a quick weave on bald a bald head. 
um, go watch that video. Let me kind of tell you how, you know, to do a quick weave. This is just more of a styling my quick weave with my hair out with my shaved edges. All right, my shave size, what should I say? But anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so now we should be dry. If it's not, we'll just work with it. Okay, let's see here. right here I told y'all I don't like my hairline really straight like that Comb this out a little fuller. So that's what that looks like over there. Way. So we can do it several ways. Let me see. So we can just wear it like this. Like that. You can kind of pull it back. See what I mean by with the little hairs out in front, do it like this, kind of feather it a little bit, and then it'll look like that, the back will look like this. So this is what this side looks like, this is the front. what it looks like this is what this side looks like this is what the back looks like I always like the back of my hair always look better than like the front the back is always on point for some reason I, I don't know and then this is this side 
Yeah, I'm liking this side too. There's this side for me that I just can't get right today. But I'm liking it. Maybe I mess around with it a little bit. Maybe I don't feather it, maybe. That's what I need to not do. Maybe I just... Maybe I need to flat iron this out or something, maybe. I don't know. I think I might kind of figure out what it is. I might need to thin this out a little bit. There's too much going on down here at the bottom. Much, too much thickness at the bottom. And that's part of what it is. I think this is exactly what I'm looking for now, y'all. I think this is it, y'all. I think we good to go now, y'all. I think this is it. Y'all know something? Something I have to get used to. Love the lashes, but I still have to get used to them because I'm so used to just combing my hair and it being my face and I keep hitting my lashes. But as far as like once I put them on and I go throughout my day, a lot of the times I'll forget that I even got them on because like most of the time I would not sleep with my my lashes on and I almost went to sleep again with my lashes on so they are pretty good but anyway this is what we're looking like y'all y'all give me a thumbs up on my video subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already subscribe to my other channels if you hadn't already make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop my shop will have all the ingredients to my mixture my hair growth mixture y'all going with me through my little journey y'all see how much my hair is growing already so y'all go check out my shop 
I have those ingredients in there. I have this hair in there. I have all my stuff that I'm using. I have the lashes in there. All of this stuff will be in there. So y'all go support your girl. Make sure you go over to Bang a Plate Gang and subscribe to that channel as well. Like I said, that channel is our giveaway channel. So any giveaways that I will be doing will be on that channel, whether it's from me directly or it's a family giveaway. So y'all go over there. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching and as always, be blessed.